Hi there, Stephanie Carlson. Think Thin Fitness. I've been doing this over 25 years, closer to 30 years, and I'm winding down in my life, but as I'm winding down, I want to reach out to those who maybe haven't been working out for a while or possibly at all has never worked out at all. It is such the it is such an essence of health to be active and to choose a healthier lifestyle, especially now. I mean, you're going to see the difference in your everyday life by making a decision on what you would like to do and how you're going to start it. I'm going to give you a couple tips on if you're looking for to lose weight, to get healthier. This, These are some really great tips. Um, I would see if you could find a buddy system, if you could find somebody, meet somebody, a friend, that you could hold each other accountable. That's where it starts. And if you don't know quite what you want to do, it is the treadmill or elliptical is a place where you can start and feel comfortable. Like I said, if you bring a friend with you, you join a gym, or if you even get together in one another's house, if they if you have fitness equipment there. But the buddy system, don't overdo it, don't overthink it. And it's not a short-term goal, really. What you gotta look at is, it's a long-term goal, it's a lifestyle change. So it's not about just losing weight, it's about being healthy, and by doing this, you're going to feel better mentally and physically. It's a big deal, especially right now. Another thing that you can do is you can find a healthier way to eat. Everybody has something. I mean, there's Weight Watchers. works for a lot of people. I mean, it's a great, great, great opportunity. It's uh, like, I think you get three months for free. And I think it's right around $12 a month. But they do let you try it out for free. And there's also My Fitness Pal. There is a free um, app. And the fact is you can record and journal your food. It's a big deal. So those are two of my, the suggestions. Three would be not to, you don't want to rush through this. You don't really have to lose your, all your weight in a month. It's going to take some time. You're developing a lifestyle change. Doing those two things is huge. It's huge. And just to change your mental, mental idea and how you feel about yourself. I would also look at it as a big rechange or rebirth for your body. It's, uh, it's just amazing. Those are some of the things that I would do, like I said, Weight Watchers and uh, my fitness pal. I'm going to give you some tips. I love, and one of my tips is what I like is um, using intermittent fasting with your new lifestyle change. It's not really a diet. You can eat healthier, but it's a pattern of eating and not eating. It really is not just for weight loss. Um, it is for uh, lowering cholesterol and blood pressure and diabetes. Because what they've said in the past is, oh, you got to eat six times a day. You know, keep metabolism going, but what they didn't tell you is that in doing that, you're spiking insulin. Every time you put something in your mouth, you strike insulin. In the presence of insulin, you will not lose weight. And I don't care if it's a something small, you've already you struck that insulin. So you, your body needs to really rest. It's, we're not meant to eat every hour on the hour. That's actually false information. Intermittent fasting is um, a period of eating. 
16 hours of not eating and 8 hours of eating. I know it sounds pretty rough, but actually, you probably want to start with eating three meals a day, no snacking. And as you, I do that for like a month, and then go into two meals. With this, I, it's tough, but then you have two great hormones. You have insulin and growth hormone. Oh, growth hormone is anti-aging. It's uh, stuff that keeps your muscles tight. And, and if you have too much insulin in your body, your body, <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't get the, that good hormone. You just get the insulin striking, 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 striking. So it's kind of like, be like a kind of a habit something that you're going to follow. It doesn't work for everybody, but I can say after open heart surgery, I had, I gained weight. I was struggling. Um, I'm five foot, less than five foot. I was like 150 pounds. And coming out of open heart surgery, I had to figure something out that was healthy. And I had researched it and the research it sounded pretty darn legit. It's science. So I started doing it three days, uh, three day, meals a day, and then starting then two meals a day within an eight hour period. And what I found is that you got to add more fat to your diet to keep you hung, keep you satisfied. And if you have any sugar block drops, it really does work. And then that years time I went from 152 pounds to 113 but you got to think about it. it it really works for me because your schedule my schedule changes a lot because of what I do I train at STS I mean I have a studio in my home and I do online training so I don't know what my day is. All I know is you go to bed at 6 o'clock, you stop eating, or 7 if you have to eat later, but you got to go from whatever time your last meal is, because your fasting is all night long. All night long. So you get that good, that good in, uninterrupted um, fasting. And then eating the next day at 12, or two, depending on what your lifestyle is, it doesn't matter. And the thing is, you just choose the foods that you like that are healthy, whole foods. I have more information about uh, choices of food, and uh, and I'd be glad to sit down with you or just to chat with you on the phone. I'm not looking to uh, get more business. I, I'm a very, very business busy person right now and um, I'm kind of uh, going in going in getting ready for my retirement stage but part of my life but I cannot rest and I'll never be able to rest I think that actually uh, when I retire I will be doing doing some some uh, personal training and, and just having some uh, doing like advice and uh, stuff like that, people reach out. But it's a, it's, it's so important that you grab this information. And some of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about, I'm free to talk to anybody. Just you know, will let me know, or just um, follow my Facebook, uh, Think Thin Fitness. But really, my passion is honestly you and you that are actually struggling with weight gain and feel like you can't get it right you can get it right i'm telling you right now i did it you can do it and there's nothing better to be healthy and be in charge of your life it's huge and once, like I said, it, once you do that, you get a friend, you write your food down and stuff. Um, just look at it as a long-term goal, not a short-term goal. And change, start changing the way you're thinking. Changing your way of thinking is a big deal. And um, I'll tell you, it's great 
when you feel good about yourself, everything seems to go smoother. When you don't feel good, things are things. Everything is a little bit tougher. That's that's what I have for you today, and I'm looking forward to helping more people. Uh, I do follow Dr. Berg, and his uh, last name is spelled B-E-R-G. If you look at him on YouTube, it's Dr. Berg, intermittent fasting for uh, serious weight loss. He also believes in keto as well. He's he's got so much information out there. Um, for beginner guide to intermittent fasting, he has like PDFs you can download and copy. Like I said, I'm just here to give you the information to help you live a better life. So I will see you in the next video. I'm looking forward to you changing your lives. Don't give up. You can do 